video last week, it's, we just wrap these. So if, if you want to see our way that we wrap them and what tools we use to make it super easy, then check out one of these corners, whichever one it goes in, just click the link, go back a week, and then come back to this one, and then uh, we will continue. <laughs>
So for me personally, that's as far as I'm going to go. And then also make sure that the finish sticks to it since it's not as smooth. And then we use the acetone to get off any excess glue as well as any dust, prepping it for the finish. So that finishes that one for the lathe. And then we will move on to the bird's eye maple for the, uh, which if you have a drill, now is your time to follow along because we won't use the mandrel lathe or any other fancy tools for for the gray bird's eye maple ring. Oh, and this is just showing that it's about two millimeters, a little less than two millimeters. So the finish will make it around two and a half, which will be comfortable to wear. So we did do we did make the cut on the bandsaw. If you don't have the bandsaw, we just hand sand it until it's ready to go, which is another reason if you don't want to give yourself more work, make the, this cut, the very very first cut from last week, make it much thinner. Cuz I'll be sanding for a while. which I did not show because that'd be boring. Ultimately, just sand it. Um, and then we're using the drill. We're just using a socket bit that we put into the drill to get the inside. The sandpaper, if you roll it in a way that is the same direction the drill is turning, the inside of it will get a lot, little warm and then it'll get sticky, which then you can see it will start to spin with the drill. And then I can sand the inside of the ring pretty easily at this point by just barely letting it go. So it goes by itself we, so we don't over sand one side. And that's that, I'll round out the inside edges as well. All right, same bit. This time we just wrapped with some masking tape until it was a tight fit for the ring to get on and this will help us with the outside i think i accidentally shaped this ring originally on the lathe however if you want to shape it at this point on the drill doing it this way with with a lot of sanding this is the way to do it masking tape and then a tight fit of the ring and then just sand it you can either use the uh, zip tie at this point to hold the drill going or just your finger so whatever you're most comfortable with I think here I'm just pulling it with my finger as I sand. And then we'll do the same thing with the acetone. There was a part of this wood ring that was shiny, which just means it was a lot of glue in that area. And so I either try to wipe it down with the acetone until it's gone, or I will try to just sand that specific glue spot because if we let that shiny glue spot remain it's going to be very uh, noticeable in the finished product once we add the finish to it so once i don't see any finished shiny spots i will finish it up and that's it okay we got these to shape they are ready for a finish at this point they are pretty close to size. We'll finish sizing it with the finish. So we got the outsides clear and it's just a, looks like a ring. It just needs a good waterproofing finish and, and to protect it. So if you like this style again, comment below. If you like the more fast paced videos and you're not really into, it's just interesting to know who's watching. Um, if you like the very step by step or if you like the uh, very fast just for entertainment kind of thing. And so yeah, hit the subscribe, like, notification, bell, everything that YouTube says for you to do. And catch the video next week when we uh, go to finish these bands. And uh, enjoy your week.